Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Thomas R. Glubik, and welcome to our fourth video of my uh, AEC Collections and Making a Plant Project series. Uh, we have already covered creating a project, doing some PNIDs, and uh, last fortnight we created some catalogs and specs. So what we're going to do now uh, in the progress of this project, we're going to start looking at creating our equipment models. So inside the uh, project manager here, you can see the folder uh, that's put, been put aside for creating our plant 3D uh, drawings or models. So to create some equipment, uh, I'm going to create a subfolder called equipment. And then underneath that, I'm going to create a new drawing. So I'm just going to call it uh, 01-EQP-1000. That can be anything. Uh, author you can leave and directory and, and template file you can change uh, as you see fit. So it'll load up your, your model and uh, it may or may not have the right workspace. So if we want to change that, uh, let's say we've been working in PNIDs and we want to change it to 3D, we just go down the bottom right screen of our, and switch our workspace over to 3D piping. And then that's going to give us the 3D modeling capabilities inside the ribbon and uh, the, the tool palettes as well. So for creating equipment, it's really quite easy. Um, I always also like to model um, in a positive X and a positive Y. So if we looked at the top view of this plant, so my zero zero is going to be at the bottom left hand corner. Um, Plant 3D or even AutoCAD doesn't like large coordinates, so always try to keep your zero zero as close uh, to the site as possible. So whether it's the corner of a building, a, a fence post, uh, some sort of marker on the site, and then that way you can keep your, your plant as close to zero zero and even have some positive X and Y values in there. So um, now I know off, if I jump back to one of my PNIDs, so I've got two tanks here and a couple pumps. So what I'm going to do is inside my Plant 3D ribbon here, I'm going to create some equipment. So click on the Create button. And then what that's going to do is bring up a list of equipment um, that may be predetermined inside Plant. So if we look at things like centrifugal pumps, that so we can go through and um, insert some pumps. Uh, I'm just going to do a vertical vessel. So uh, this one at the moment is set to, to be two cylinders. So this is listed in the order from top to bottom, basically. So uh, I might put a, let's put a cone for the, for the roof and then a cylinder for the main body. Uh, and then maybe a cylinder for the footing or the base that it's going to be sitting on as well. So I know my body um, is going to be, let's make it 20 meter diameter uh, and let's make it five meters high. Okay, and you can see that because we made it 20 there, then the, the bottom diameter of the cone has been automatically inherited. So D2, I don't want D2 to be so much, so I'm going to make D2 500 just so we have some room to maybe put a nozzle or a vent at the top. My height, um, let's just make it a meter. My E, which is an eccentricity of the cone, I'm not going to bother because I just want this to be uh, a normal uh, looking cone and I'm not going to rotate at any value either. Uh, and then my base, so my, my footing or the slab, uh, whatever it's going to be sitting on. Um, so we're going to make that, we can make it 500 wider on each radius. So it's going to be 21 um, and then let's make it 600 high. So for the body, I've got options to add trim. 
So this might be things like stiffening rings or skirts, maybe even a platform and your lugs, legs or body flanges. So uh, I'm not necessarily going to do that right at this point in time. Uh, I'm, then I'm just going to click on create. So I'm going to put it at zero, zero and my rotation is going to be north. And then that way I know that's my zero uh, direction. So there we have it, we have our first tank. So if I go back to my pin ID, that'll be TK1000. So I can select it, right click, assign a tag, and give it my 1000 number. Okay, and we can see here, looks like my base is still a little bit funky. So I'm gonna go back and modify it. Uh, so, put my body back to 20,000 and then click on this button here and override it and make it 21. So there we have a 20 meter diameter body and a 21 meter diameter um, base. So there you can see all of those changes have come through. So now um, I can put markers down or maybe set up a grid to where I want to place this, but I'm just going to do the old fashioned AutoCAD way. So I'm going to bring it over 50 meters and I'm going to bring it north 50 meters as well. So that's going to be the location of my uh, tank. Now I can go through and redo the whole thing again, or I can copy this one bring it over uh, 30 meters. And now you can see, because I've copied it, it puts a question mark after it. So we don't want it to be a thousand, we want it to be a thousand and one. So if we go to my data manager here, I can see that I have my two vessels in here, TK1000 and TK1001. Also, if I jump back here, so you can see I've got TK1000, TK1001. Okay, so that's for our tanks. For the pumps, so in my pull down, I'm just going to come in here and do a centrifugal pump and do the same thing, click on create. Now you can see there's an insertion point there, so it's just at the, at the bottom of that base. So same thing, I'm going to do zero, zero rotate it so it's facing north and then you can see there that the zero zero is at the base of that pump so to line these up again I might uh, let's we know we're going to put this somewhere over here so I'm going to put it at 25 meters and I'm going to bring it north uh, about 20 meters okay so that will be P1000 and P1001. So right click, assign a tag, P1000. And then do the same thing. I'm going to copy it. Um, we'll copy it 2500. And then do the same thing, assign a tag, P1001. So there we have our, so far, four pieces of equipment equipment. Now if we wanted to add nozzles, certain pieces of equipment have certain ways of adding nozzles. On pumps, obviously we can just click on it and click on edit nozzle and then we can go through and pick what we want it to be. On tanks however, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to switch to wireframe. And we can see here that by default it's put in a nozzle at the bottom. Now we don't want that. So I press the control key on my keyboard, click the nozzle, and now we get the little pencil marker to denote that we're editing it. And I press the delete button on my keyboard and it's been erased. So we'll do the same thing with the second one, control, erase. So if we wanna add a nozzle, pick the piece of equipment. I can either click on the little nozzle glyph here or right click and go add nozzle. So nozzle one, uh, it is going to be just a straight nozzle. And because I'm working in Imperial spec, so it's going to be a four inch flanged 
and you have to pick whether it's flat, raised face or RTJ, so it's raised face. And I'm going to put it at the top, so it's going to be my vent nozzle layer. So I can orientate it, so the R is the radius, which is going to be 0. The length, I'll make it 300 mil. A, the rotation is going to be 0. So it's not perpendicular, there's no inclination, rotation or twist on it. And then I can click on close. And there's our nozzle. So if I want to do the same thing for a side nozzle, right click, add nozzle, change type. So again, I might make this a six inch nozzle, raised faced, so 300 mil off the side. And you can see on our preview that it's over here to the north. So the height will make it uh, 700, make it 300 long and rotate it 180 degrees. And now we have our nozzle in its correct location. And now I click on close and there we have it. So if I switch back to realistic and switch to the left, I can see my nozzle is a little bit interfering here with the, the slab. So I can just control, edit nozzle, change location, and adjust my H value, make it 750 mil, and we can see that the flange is not going to interfere with the, the base of that tank there now. So what you could also do, you could either redo the nozzles for the second tank or build up all of the nozzles, then copy the tank over and then rename it. So that was short and sweet way of creating equipment inside Plant 3D. You can also convert equipment from an AutoCAD object and we can also convert inventor equipment which I can cover um, if there's enough requests for it I can cover it in another video but basically that's the three ways we can do it either through the dialog boxes through AutoCAD objects or via inventor equipment so what I'm going to do for the next two weeks go through and create all of my equipment and then in two weeks we can have a look at that model and then start placing some structural elements into our plant project. Thanks a lot.